Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm back again with another headband wig and this particular wig is from We Queens. They did send me a kinky curly unit um, and I did get it in an 18 inch. This is what it looks like directly out of the box. I am gonna give you guys a close view of the curl pattern, um, also the ends. And as you can see, this unit already looks great without washing it. Um, but I did end up washing my unit before installing it. So it does come with four different combs. It has one in the middle and two on each side. You also will receive a comb in the back of the unit as well as adjustable straps. Um, and then you will see that the headband is Velcro so you can actually adjust the wig as tightly as you need for it to be. Within your box, you will receive a lot of headbands. So this is the first company that I've worked with that actually sent so many headbands. And as you can see here, I am just trying to show you guys all the headbands that I received with my package. So I think it's about a good six headbands that you're gonna receive. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal, you know. And then I also love the fact that We Queens always sends a bag. And this is great for storing your wigs. So if you have a problem with actually storing your wigs away, I do use these to put my wigs back in. And then I'll normally just put it in a container of some sort. So they also send you some wig caps. And then within this particular package, you will get two wig caps. So this is actually what the wig looks like after I have washed with shampoo and conditioner. And I'm just showing you the adjustable straps at, in the back because I thought it was so unique. I actually have not had a headband that you can do this. So it's great for more security. But as you can see me applying this wig, it's very simple and easy. You wanna make sure you already have your hair slicked back, braided, or you know, like maybe in a ponytail. And then also make sure that your edges is laid the way that you want but I did use that comb in the middle of the hair because I did realize that um, you know if it's I was gonna be wearing this headband wig throughout the day and I was gonna be outside so I just wanted to make sure my hair was fully secured and put the comb in but yeah it's very simple you just put the band around the back of your nape area and secure it with the velcro and that's pretty much it So I really like the fact that after I did wash this wig, the curl pattern was still the same, which is pretty interesting to me because most curly units, you know, after you wash the hair, the curl pattern does change, but this one in particular did not. So you still get that kinky curly look. Um, and you know, I really enjoyed the fact that the wig, I didn't really find too much of tangling with it. I can't remember if I had shedding, but I do not believe I had much shedding if I did have any when I washed the hair. But all I'm gonna do is just take my fingers and kind of pick through the curls. What I should have used was my pick and I just forgot to bring it down to my recording area um, to pick it out. But I would suggest just using a pick and just picking through those curls, getting it to the point that you like it. I do like for my curly wigs to look more worn. So if I had a pick, I think it would look really, really cute and natural. Even though it still looks pretty natural, it looks like you probably did like a twist out look. But with the pick, you're able to kind of give it like more frizz and it look like it's been worn already and super natural. But as um, I was just showing you guys that the wig does fit pretty securely, especially if you're gonna wear like the straps in the back, also the Velcro in the combs. Trust me, sis, it ain't gonna go nowhere. You're gonna be able to be in the wind. The hair is not gonna slip back. I don't know if you can actually get in a fight or not. I wouldn't suggest getting in a fight with the headband wigs, but we all grown, right? We don't fight no more. We too cute for that. But that is one of the things that, you know, I feel like it is a fairly secure wig. It has so many different options that you can make sure your wig is secure. So definitely take advantage of that. But I really love the fact that this unit is an 18 inch and I still do, do not feel like it's too short because you know with curly wigs, sometimes it tends to look a little bit shorter than what it is. This gives me a lot of length. So it's going to, and it's also going to get big. This wig is going to get very big as you go on and wear it throughout, you know, the days, the weeks or whatnot. 
you're gonna have some big hair so it's gonna require some maintenance um, you can always put in some leave-in conditioner some curling cream to maintain those curls you just want to make sure you wet it and maybe um, detangle it a little bit with like a dimming brush or a wide tooth comb and I think you'll be set good to go but I did try this headband on with it and I am I'm still trying to get used to these new style headbands I feel like this headband sits so far up off my head and it kind of remind me of a crown but it is cute I love that pink color it's very very cute and it does work well with big hair like this so yeah but you know as you can see it definitely does cover up that black headband no problems there So throughout this whole video, I am going to be freestyling some hairstyles for you guys that you could potentially do with this wig. Um, to be honest, I didn't really have much hairstyles in mind. I just know that you have the basic hairstyles that you can do like the, of course, like in a ponytail. You can do the half up, half down. You can wear it completely down. There's so many different hairstyles you can wear with a headband wig. Because you can treat this as like a half wig. So I do know a lot of people are familiar with half wigs. You can treat this the same way. Um, of course you want to, you know, maybe manipulate the wig a little bit more. So you can cover up the headband. But it definitely can be worn in different ways. So don't let the fact that it's a headband wig constrict you to only wearing it just down. Definitely take advantage of some of these hairstyles. Okay ladies? But yeah, I'm just going to be freestyling it going through and showing you a few different styles that I did come up with and yeah I'll let you guys watch and I'll be back to discuss anything farther Okay, so with these next few styles, I was definitely trying to figure out how I was going to make it work because I did cut my hair um, a while back. I cut it and it's just now, you know, growing out to the length that I can start doing more styles to it. So what I decided to do is I wanted to take out um, some of my hair on the side and kind of do like that. It kind of reminds me like that early 2000s look when everyone was doing like that crochet and you know like the curly crochet look and then like having the side of the hair kind of like in a twist or sleeked up into the curly hair you'll see what i'm saying but i wanted to do something like that where that side of my hair is pulled up and then the rest of the hair is just 
down with the headband wig, if I'm explaining that correctly. But like I said, you know, you are going to see what I'm saying. But one thing I would mention, if you decide that you want to do this style, just make sure you insert the combs because you want to make sure that the wig is very secure. So the combs, you can still insert it even though you are trying to hide the band because you are going to have to hide that band, like tuck it underneath the wig to hide it. So you're still able to put the combs in and hide the band. Just so you guys are aware if you haven't done like a style like this before. But as you can see, it kind of turns into like a half wig instead of a headband wig when you actually tuck in that band. But yeah, so I'm playing around with that, trying to get it to work for the length of my hair. Um, I was able to achieve somewhat of the style that I was going to going for. Um, I think it turned out pretty. pretty I think it turned out okay. Um, I definitely a little bit later on, I'll probably you know try another day just to make it more tighter, or maybe even add like some clip, like the clip in hairs, because I do have some kinky curly clip ins that I can put there, and then that will allow for me to make that twist a little bit more tighter and neater. Um, but if you have longer hair, you probably won't have a problem with this. And also, if your hair is natural, it'll blend in a lot better than mine. Um, my front of my hair is more straighter than the back part of my hair. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out good. You just want to make sure you secure it with some bobby pins. And yeah, you're good to go with this style. So this is gonna be another style that I had to basically finesse with the length of my hair. But what I'm gonna do is just take out a part of the middle section of my hair. And I'm gonna actually do like a half up, half down style, but it's just gonna be more of a ponytail in the middle and then the rest of the hair is gonna be down, of course. Um, a little, like I did try again another day to do this style and what I found was easier if you want that ponytail to be tighter in the middle and especially if your hair is just as long as mine, what you want to do is maybe use a rubber band first and put that, put your hair in a ponytail first and then use this technique to do, um, to actually blend the wig in with your natural hair to basically put it all into one ponytail. So. That is a tip that I would give for you guys. But other than that, I think that this style was also a success. I hope you guys enjoy these hairstyles that I provided for you guys.
If you have any questions, feel free to always leave them down in the comments. I'm going to leave everything over this wig, like the information of the wig, in the description box as always. Um, yeah, if you have not done so already, feel free to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you have any suggestions, like I said, make sure you leave that in the comments. Any questions, comments, all the information, description box. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Make sure you take care and see you later.